so if a super coiled dna molecule receives a nick the strain of underwinding is immediately removed and all the super coiling is lost because uh, this is just like a, a thread and the thread is super coiled and if you introduce a cut in that super coiled thread all the strain due to this super coiling that will be released so studies uh, have also confirmed that if we continuously treat the chromatin with nucleases it will increase the number of relaxed loops so this the increase in the number of relaxed loop is due to the nicks introduced by the nucleases here uh, you can see a more clear picture of the chromatin and in this you can uh, see this is a relaxed loop this is a relaxed loop and all these these are uh, super coiled uh, loops and all these loops are attached with this protein core so all the loops are attached with the protein core the bacterial dna is arranged in super coiled loops that are fastened to a central protein matrix so that each loop is topologically independent from all the others as you know there, there is a single dna molecule which is present in the cell but this dna molecule when it is coiled and then super coiled all these super coiled loops they are attached with the central protein so each coil coiled loop is independent from the other loop because this is actually a smaller uh, segment of that dna molecule and when it is attached with the protein core it becomes independent from the other loops so if a nick is produced in one loop one super coiled loop to relax it this unwinding this relaxation would have no effect on the other super coiled loops because each super coiled loop is independent from the other loops the super coiled loops are dynamic structures which change during cell growth and division so this nicking of the super coiled loops is not accidental because these loops are dynamic structures and they continuously change during uh, the different phases of cell growth and cell division so all these uh, uh, nicking and the proportion of uh, uh, relaxed loops and super coiled loops this is all uh, programmed this is not accidental an equalized chromosome is estimated to have about 400 super coiled loops so a single uh, molecule of dna in the e coli it is uh, super coiled into 400 loops each loop then have has an average length of about 10 to 20 kilo base pairs so each loop is 10 to 20 kilo base pairs the dna compaction that is not only achieved by the super coiling mainly three factors are involved in making the dna compact and packing it in the cell in the bacterial cell and these three factors include the super coiling of loops second is the macromolecular crowding and the third one is dna binding proteins which have special role to play in the compaction of dna in a bacterial cell 